Hi everyone, my name is Allison. I'm the Programs, Outreach, and Youth Services Manager here at Monterey County Free Libraries. Thank you for joining me today for an episode of Book Chat Kids. Today I'm going to talk to you about a new picture book that I am so excited to share, and that is Jim Henson's Labyrinth, the ABC Storybook by Luke Flowers. For those of you who are not familiar with the movie Labyrinth, it is a 1986 Jim Henson movie starring music icon David Bowie and um, Jennifer Connelly and a bunch of puppets, you know, all of the magic of Jim Henson. And the basic plot is that Sarah, Jennifer Connelly's character, is a teenager who's kind of, you know, very frustrated with her everyday life and particularly looking after her baby brother, Toby. So she makes a wish for the Goblin King to come and take Toby away. And unbeknownst to her, the Goblin world is real. And David Bowie, playing the Goblin King Jareth, shows up and takes her baby brother away. And of course, instantly Sarah regrets her decision and has to then embark upon a quest through David Bowie's um, labyrinth to find her baby brother, Toby. And she only has a certain amount of time in which to solve the labyrinth before her baby brother becomes one of them forever, which is a line from the movie. I have been obsessed with this movie since I first saw it in about the third grade. Um, and it, you know, skyrocketed my love of David Bowie. It's probably, I could probably quote the entire movie for you. Um, so I was so excited when I saw that this picture book came out because I, I just love Labyrinth. And so anybody who loves this movie, um, and if you haven't seen it, go out and watch it because you will love it. This book takes us through the story of Labyrinth and the ABCs. And what I like about it is it's not just like a normal ABC book where it's like, A is for Apple. Each letter is highlighted, but through the context of telling the story. So I'll show you, and the illustrations are just amazing. They are so cute. I love them. Um, <clears throat> but starting out, see, A is for actress. But as you can see, it's not just one word. It actually tells the story. So by the end of this book, you have the complete story of the labyrinth, um, but also an ABC book with each letter highlighted. And my favorite for anybody who is intimately familiar with the movie like I am is E is for Ello, which is what this little worm says and is one of the um, kind of classic parts of the movie. So it just goes on to tell the whole story, like I've been saying, with these beautiful illustrations. It, it just makes the whole story really accessible in picture book format while not losing anything from the film itself, which I thought was an amazing balance. And it just illustrates all the scenes from the movies so perfectly. Um, at the very end, there is a little bit about Jim Henson, which I thought was really nice to give a little bit of context um, to spark anybody's interest if they wanted to read more about Jim Henson. And one of the really cool parts is, it's a little bit harder to tell on a library book, so be careful when you look for this, is that under the book flap, you can see the cover art is this amazing reconstruction of the labyrinth as kind of like a you know, a placemat maze you might find at a restaurant. So it's got Sarah up here in this corner and then Toby down at the other end with all the obstacles and friends that she meets along the way. So for anybody who remembers watching Labyrinth in their childhood, like I do, or in their adulthood, um, like I also do, who has a love for Jim Henson, who has a love for David Bowie, um, I would definitely recommend checking this book out you know, the movie to me is not scary, but it might be a little scary for some little kids with all the goblin puppets. So if you are an adult labyrinth lover who is looking to introduce your child to the movie for the first time, this might be the gateway into that because this is not scary at all. It does a really good way of introducing the story and might be a good segue into the film itself. So I hope that you'll check this out. Again, Jim Henson's Labyrinth, the ABC storybook by Luke flowers 
And if you have any recommendations for new picture books that you're excited about, please let me know in the comments and I will see you next time. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you.